Hey everybody, we are back here in Automation Empire for Season 2, Episode 4. This episode's going to be a little crazy. I promise you that. I was asked by a friend to show how the claw track works. So this video, we're going to get claw tracks in our build, but... It's going to be kind of a tutorial. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial on claw tracks. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. We are back in our world. You see, we've not made many changes. Our iron is still sucking. We have all the iron on this planet going to these tubes and they can't keep up. I might shut down a couple of these box makers. I'm not sure I want to do that. We are staying full, which is good. So for what I'm going to do for my tutorial, I'm going to use this iron over here. Or this coal over here. Apologies to kind of show claw tracks. So the basics of claw tracks. You have your claw, you have your track, you have your drop, and you have your pickup. Pickups you want well okay. You can't pick up unless you're over a track. But you see you have two blue lines. One blue line is where it's going to pick up from, or, or where it's going to hit on the ground. The other blue line, it's really hard to show, is where it's going to be in the air. So what we're going to do is we'll start our track here, and we run it across where we want to pick up, and then. When we want to corner, just like with the mine carts, when you want to corner, you have to cut your track. So now, this track is over three pickup spots. And then we can take these guys and run them this way. And you can see the line on the ground goes through. Oh, look at that. That. This track is not as long as the others. But we could set it here and it will still drop off at that one. So we'll set that there. And then we curve here. And then we come back. And we have a full circle. So now we have to set up our pickups. Here is one pickup. Here is two pickup. Here is three pickup. Now... Our drop-offs have to be on the track. If it's over here, you see I got the red dot. It's not going to allow me to place it. It doesn't allow me to place it. It has to be on the track and on our drop-off site. If I do it over here, it'll allow me to place it. But it's just going to drop it nowhere. So we want to place it here. And we want to place this one here on this track. Now, it's time to add our claw trains. Click on the track. It brings up this menu, just like with the rail car, uh, mine cars. And then you add. And then they pick up. However many you have is how many they'll pick up. And they will drop off in the first spot in the track. Once that is full, then they will go to the second one. With the robots working in coexistence, in coexistence with the claw track, then it's going to make things a little tricky. And then they'll pick up, and they will only pick up from that end spot on the output of a crate maker. 
They will not pick up from any other spot. But, that kind of leads me to, I've been talking, but, that leads me to, I've been talking about a big plan with my mine cars, or with the cranes, to make this kind of awesome. And I have enough money now, I think it is time to fire all the robots. And I will show you guys what my plan is. I still do not know if it's going to work or not because I was asked to make this video on how to work the claw tracks. So, I didn't really have time to plan it out, have time to work it. Let's see. Do I have enough? Because I want to get, even though I don't need it, I need 25 coal in there. Okay. So, I will show that part later. Even though I don't need it in this world, I'll still show it. So, that will be in a later episode on how to set up your uh, truck delivery systems. Actually, I can... So, once I had the research to get this... Well, I, I already have that. And I'm close on research. I don't have the coal. I'd have to build a whole refinery for the coal to get that research. So, later on, I'll do it offline. I'll set up this coal over here. This coal right here to refine just for research. So we can get that. So I can give you... A tutorial on that on the truck loaders but now let's go back to the fun part for this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my track bigger this was just quick quick setup I'm gonna wait to the claws move away from this curve because I want to take that curve out Right here. There. And then, I'm take our claw track. Gonna extend it across here. And you wanna make sure one line, see that line will not line up. You wanna make sure that line lines up. Otherwise, it's not going to work. See? There. I'll set up a couple more pickups. And then I'll set up a couple more drop offs. One more drop off. And then. Here's the cool part. I want thoughts. What would happen if I made another track circling the first track? I can set up the drop offs for this track. It's still going to pick up from the same spots, and it'll still drop off in the same spots. Stupid mouse. Boom. And then we set up its pickups right next to the first tracks. Will this work fast enough to keep up with both of them? I do not know. But, this was my thought process on this.
so now I have two tracks circling around, picking stuff up and dropping them off. This cannot be a bad idea. It could be. I mean, one track might just get less deliveries or less pickups than the other track. But I don't really see the downfall behind that. I mean, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. I think for this setup, with this coal, not that great of a plan. Because there's so little coal coming out, so little tracks to drop off to. But I think, with this behemoth, with that behemoth, if I have, and it looks like I still have more than enough iron being made, I think it'll work with this bad boy. I think... This is going to blow it out the water. And now, because of this, I don't want robots taken from here. So we're going to just turn them off. The cranes will still pick up from here. But the robots will not. So now we can just... The, the crane on these guys are just for these guys. The robots will not touch these anymore. That will allow them to fill up a little bit better. I know in my last video I just turned them back on and made them high priority again to help out the iron. And now I'm fucking with that plan. But I think, you know, this is my plan. It worked out a lot better than I thought it would. And now I want to replicate the same thing for the iron. But, that means I'm going to need longer track for the iron. It can be done. It's just going to take some time. And I think since I turned these off, they're producing a lot better. Which means my claw track is going to be a lot happier. Because it's going to be field. Now, the question is, is it slowing it down or is it speeding it up? So, let's look at this guy. He just took off. He's got 50. They already have 50. This guy, 31. He's getting ready to land. Look at how much is going there. I think this is working. And I really hope I am not the first person to think of doing this. Because this is kind of awesome if you ask me. So, I think next step. is going to be the setup for the iron. With the iron... I might need to add a couple of more rockets. And then I could probably totally get rid of all the robots. And just run this. Because if, well, one of the things I want to look at. Or is any of it getting to this last one here. Because if it's not, there's kind of no point. Or I might need to add more claws, faster claws, but in my experience, one claw track will fill one, kind of handle the second one, but three is kind of hard. Never mind. Two does it just fine. Take some time, take a little help from the robots. And I might just continue to use the robots while I'm building up another section. So, like, when I get the iron claw tracked in, I might turn off the robots for there. But let them sit tight till I start working in another section and building that up.
But let's look at my weight. I'm at 6,000 halfway through. We might get there. And these guys are going really well. So, I'm going to take a pause for a little bit and I'll be back. But I want to see if our weight is going to go up now. Alright, so I've been sitting here watching this for a few. And it does seem like it is helping quite a bit. I mean, look at how little I have left over here. I don't have much left over here. These guys are struggling to keep up now. This third one is not filling up as fast as these first two. But these first two are almost always full. So I feel like this is exactly what I needed. And once I get my refining station hooked up, and these guys are really cooking, and build a refining station like I did over here, and hook this up to the cloud tracks, it's going to be smoking. So, this third one does get some. It does. Just not as much as these two. My weight has not done awesome. But, I feel like it'll get up there. Especially after I add the claw tracks to the iron over here. Because, wow. But, I think to do that. <laughs> um, more rockets. So, now the goal is going to be set this up to where it's going to run it hit all the rockets and then work on adding more rockets. But I feel like right now I think I give pretty good tutorial on the claw trains. Uh, my friend Thanatos if you have any more questions on cloud trains, let me know. Let's go check our research. <gasps> it's ready. I'll take it. Can I add? I can't add. I'm adding. Yeah, buddy. Now we can add speed. Nope, we can't add speed. But I can add more cloud tracks. So guess what that means? Even better. Oh, that was the speed. Okay, so I can't add any more cloud tracks, but I just sped them up, which is also going to be beneficial. So, and you can see the way they're working. They're not really interfering with each other. The robots are kind of interfering with them because they want to set something down, and then a robot sets something down, and then they can't. So... But we're going to work the robots out of a job. And we will very soon say goodbye to the robots. And then, like I said, once I have the research to get the truck stop uh, claw track, I'll show you guys that setup. But this is a good setup. And this is working well and I will never stop using this setup because this is working out too perfectly anyways this is your old pal Spandex I'm going to sign off now I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you did let me know if you didn't um, hit that subscribe button smash that like button and ring that bell if you ring that bell, you will be notified every time a new video comes out. You guys have a great night. I will talk to you later. Spandex is out.